Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. During this video, I'll be showing you how you can replace the boring look that the default mouse has with kind of anything you like, any texture you like or any spec you like. You can see that my mouse kind of looks like a knife now and it's just a random image that I found on the Unity engine. And you can see that I do, can do anything I want uh, like the, the default mouse has, just a visual change. So just to show you, you need to go to edit, project settings, and then find the player and it has a default cursor uh, that you need to replace with whatever you want see that select and you can find your uh, cursor of choice and replace it with that and there's also one setting that you can modify which is the hotspot which is essentially offsets the cursor from the um the center so just to show you what that may look like if i were to run this um it will have like a slight displacement from where the actual click is so if I were to uh, press, press left click you can see that I'm able to spawn explosions at the exact point of where my cursor is if I were to increase this to something kind of large you'll see that I'm clicking uh, kind of on the left side of here but you can see that the explosion happens on the right hand side and this basically off offsets the image from where the actual mouse position is and this is what the final result is looking like and just to show you how you can also make the cursor visible because you may not be able to do that you need to uh, in any script that you have change the cursor lock state to be of cursor lock mode to none and this will basically allow you to f freely move the cursor around with ease and also change the cursor visible false or, or true in this case you need to, you want it to be true but in case this is unlocked this will be by default true so it doesn't matter basically what, what this is one of the things that i don't like about using this method is that it doesn't have a lot of ways for you to modify the cursor for so for example you can't really change the size of the cursor to whatever you like it will be default and the only thing that you can change is the uh, basically offsetting the uh, mouse which is basically something that i never really used so i'll be showing you a way that you can actually change the size of this if you want to or actually change the cursor during runtime quite easily so the method i'm going to be showing you is using an image on the canvas and simple as that you just can import and use any image as you like in here any sprite that you like in here and this is easily swappable in a script and you can also modify the scale as you like again during runtime or during uh, uh before you actually uh, build the game so uh, that is very easy and I'll be showing you a script that you can actually do that so you can see that uh, we have again the start method with the log state we are also getting an image which is the image that I showed in the editor and there is also the image that we're going to need to get it to actually modify the sprite we also have a sprite that you can this can be for example if you were to attack something you can maybe when you hover over it you want it to be changing let's say to a, something red indicating that you can attack this so this will be let's say your attack sprite and you can swap it to that sprite you can have as many sprites as you like and swap between them very easily without any problem using the script you also have the hotspot because we are re essentially replacing the building system that unity has so we're going to be if you want to use the hotspot and offset it and do some displacement you can do that through the vector and how does the actual image move with the mouse very simple just change the transform position of the image to the input or mouse position and add in the hotspot if you're using it and that will be it so simple as that you can scale it as you like you can modify the image during runtime as you like and you can add any modifications that you like using scripts which it gives you a lot of possibilities and a lot more choices instead of using the default one so uh, if you want to go a bit more deeper into using curses, this is the way. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. And if you didn't, make sure to like and subscribe onto the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment them below. If you have any recommendations, again, comment them below. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day and goodbye.